Hello, it's Jason Payne Cool Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Well, guess what? I'm still in Spring Branch and I'm doing another video on Everview Homes. This, the last plan we did was just over 2,500 square feet. This one's just over 2,900 square feet. The plan name is the Old 32. I do like that name, it's kind of catchy. Um, but it's a beautiful home and this house uh, has some upgrades in it compared to the other one being pretty stock. Um, but you're looking right around 225 to 230 a square foot for this house. So I want to show off about what you can expect to get for your money. All right, let's go check it out. All right, this is an absolute beautiful home. Notice it does have the metal roof on it. So that typically can be right around uh, anywhere to 18 to $20,000 upgrade. Prices do change, but I love the layout of this house. Um, love the area spring branch a little bit out there but not out in the country as much as you used to be but this is also the community where everview has their model home and if you're looking to find their model home if you're familiar with the area driving north on 281 if you see the old beefies uh restaurant love great hamburgers there by the way uh but if you see something that looks like a golf ball on a tee remember that's when you want to slow down and start looking to your right and you'll see the model home for everview homes all right back to the tour of the old 32 built by them um like i said beautiful home and nice bang for the buck all right let's head on inside of course i want you to go ahead and take a second hit that like button that does help out a lot but beautiful door on this house and right when you come in there's definitely a little wow factor when you come in when you see the big uh uh, the details in the roof there. I don't even know what to call that, but it's, it's gorgeous the different layers of the roof All right coming in you can't help but notice just a really nice open concept for this house Then like I said, they do have some upgrades <clears throat> This house is being used as an Airbnb. So we're glad to be able to get into it um, But it can't have gas. It's just they built it with electric If they did gas, they just have to bury a propane tank in it and propane tanks usually add about eight thousand eight to ten thousand dollars to the cost of the house depends on the granite but they did have the upgraded cabinetry in there they've upgraded the appliances to gen air which is a really nice brand and one of my favorite parts no 50 50 sink they went the big single basin sink love the details in this and i just love this use of space in this uh old 32 plan all right let's go ahead and look at you got your kind of standard laundry room like the fact that they do have a small step in there so pay attention to that so don't fall down and a little bit of drain in there so in case there is a water leak something comes undone and it doesn't flood your whole house it just goes down the drain here but they did add granite in there and uh like I said, mentioned before, eight foot doors are standard. This is gonna be a little mud room set up for when you come in from the garage. There's a little more topography in there, so we got more roof space, but that's perfect if you wanted to add some more racks. But the closet, I mean the closet, the garage is all based on topography of the house, of just how tall the ceilings is, how much they have to dig into the ground. So that's lot by lot basis. Speaking of lots, it's always a great idea before buying a lot to have a builder come out. And I talked to, uh, been talking to the owner of Everview Homes here, and he is more than happy to come out, walk the lot, and give you a ballpark of what the cost of that foundation would be because that's a big determination of uh, what it's going to cost to build that lot. So never hesitate to reach out to a builder to do that they're happy to do that they want to show their value to you but once again beautiful details in the uh, dining room section lots of light um, notice they got the whole wall when uh, door that opens up that's going to be anywhere between like a 15 to 18 thousand dollar upgrade depends on what frames you want to use and uh, different variables I actually kind of like the cemetery, not cemetery, symmetry of this house to where you're going to be standing here and it's very balanced. I'm silly like that. I like a nice balanced house, but a place for the TV. Let's see. Oh, uh, there is more rooms back behind me here. So I want to go show that off too before I go to the other side. Well, that's the master bedroom. I want to tease that. I want to leave that master bedroom for last. So let me go to these secondary bedrooms on this side.
Once again, beautiful granite countertops. That's absolutely gorgeous. Could be quartz. But this room, they have it staged as a bedroom, but this is really a perfect room for an office. Um, you can call it a bedroom because it does have a little closet space, and that's really the only requirement to separate an office from a bedroom. But man, this is a perfect spot for an office to have your desk set up kind of in the middle of this room. You can still kind of look out and see what's going on in the outside of the uh, office space, and a lot of light coming in here. And a nice little barn door kind of separating you from everybody else to let the rest of the family know, hey, I'm in here working, please do not disturb. All right, let's continue the tour. <clears throat> nice long hallway with tall ceilings here, it's kind of cool. So you're gonna have your two other bedrooms back here, which lots of space. Once again, tall ceilings in these bedrooms. Good size closets, like all my little mini walk-in closets. And I like the fact that it's such a long hallway, you can really kind of separate from like kid world and adult world. So they can stay down here and you won't be disturbed as much if your kid's a little on the rowdy side. But this is kind of neat, I just noticed this really tall ceiling going up there, kind of create a neat little space. Pardon me. And once again, pretty good size closet. But check out this bathroom. Uh, for a secondary or kids bathroom, lots of uh, luxury uh, stuff done in here with the granites, the bronze uh, faucets, but check out this tower. I mean, you just don't get showers like this in the secondary bathrooms. That's beautiful, a little mud inset. Plenty of space in the toilet area. So yeah, very nicely done. All right, let's head on back to the other side so I can show off the back porch. Um, they did upgrade the patio space out here. Um, if you saw the previous one, that was a standard patio space, but they definitely did some upgrades in here. Oops, I don't want to miss this room. I just realized that they got this beautiful game room set up. TV, bar space. I mean, there's so much I like about how they designed this house and this plan. Got the little stone in there. Plenty of bar space. And y'all know I'm, I'm not as much as an alcohol enthusiast as I used to be. I'm trying to slow down. I just turned 52 and it's like, yeah, can't drink like I was in my uh, 20s and 30s anymore. So I'm slowing that down, but it was still nice to have a bar when I'm entertaining. And you can't have a bar without its own little private bathroom off the side. And holy crap, look at this. That is a beautiful big shower for this room. Now, if you didn't want to use this as a bar, I'm sure talking to the builder, they could turn this into a little own uh, casita type thing where you have your living room and bathroom right there. And it's own little closet. Let's see if it's big that is. Uh, that's more of a game room closet. But there's options you can have. And going with a custom home builder, it's really nice to have multiple options available to you. All right, let's check out this patio space. So I figure out this little Tesla style. There we go. All right. All right, they, this is definitely an upgraded patio space. But man, you could do a lot of entertaining out here with this size of a patio. If you didn't do the upgrade, the patio would still be a pretty good size, like if you saw in my first home. But man, yeah, you can definitely have a, a lot of people out enjoying the Texas spring and fall, and even in summertime, if you've got enough shade and ceiling fans. All right, let's head on into the master bedroom and really show that off. All right, here we go into the master bedroom. Beautiful use of space, tall ceilings, even like the little sconces on the side of the wall there. But yeah, it's plenty of space for whatever you wanna do 
uh, storage wise and furniture in this master bedroom. We do have the barn door going into the master bedroom bath. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I haven't walked this house completely yet, so I'm kind of viewing this with you guys. But yeah, that's, I love what they did with the stone in the tub there. I've never seen that before. And it looks great. So if you're looking to steal some, that's a pretty good idea to steal because that looks really cool. All right, and the shower. This is one of the most epic showers I've seen. That's monstrous. And the feature they have in the ceiling just kind of accenting this, this shower. Wow. Uh, like I said, they even got the little chandelier up top it's like every time i turn around i'm seeing something else new so beautiful countertops and then this closet definitely some uh, custom closet work put in here I'm trying to maximize the space for your storage you got space for your long dresses if you have your fold-ups for your sweaters or pants and plenty of spaces for shoes and then the other space right here too. Very nicely done. Oh man, that shower is impressive. And the price list, I'm gonna put that on the end of this video so you can see what this house base price is and other houses if you're wanting to consider an Everview home. Remember they build pretty much anywhere in this area and a pretty good pro cost per square foot. All right, that's gonna wrap tour of this beautiful custom home. This is the old 32 plan built by Everview Custom Homes. If you got some more questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be on the final screen. And if you wanna schedule a Zoom meeting with me, there will be a link to my Calendly app in the description box. I'll be happy to help. And I can also put you in contact with the owner of this company because he's going to have a lot more information than I actually have. So feel free to reach out to me. I'm here to help. Uh, once again, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, share these videos with your friends and family, especially if you know someone considering moving to Texas. All right, take care now. <laughs> Bye.